my baby. <laughs> but I'm okay, I'm okay. Hello, I'm Tia Yi. I'm a pharmacist turned account manager. I've been a pharmacist practicing for four and a half years. A pharmacist generally, um, a daily bread and butter would be to dispense medications. But before we do the act of dispensing, uh, after the doctor prescribes, we'll have to um, check through the prescription, make sure it's the right medication for the right patient and all the right things, right dose, etc. And then um, we will do dispensing and counselling to the patients. I guess after four years as a pharmacist, um, I can say that it was almost like a quarter-life crisis. I think I really just wanted a change in environment after being um, practising as a pharmacist for four years. Uh, yeah, so I, I was looking out for other opportunities. I would say the emotion that I felt was really being, feeling very scared. So I recall going through four years of pharmacy school, coming out thinking that yes, I've got all I need in to practice as a pharmacist. And when pre-registration started, for that nine months, I, I realised there's so much more that I don't know about like medical world, about pharmacy, about medications. And it was tough. Um, I recall that every morning before I start work, I would go into the toilet first and then I would really like just cry to relieve the emotions. Mm. And then... And then I'll go to work and then I'll be okay. I was meeting up with um, some of my juniors and um, I was just discussing with them what are the available job opportunities out there for a pharmacist, yet not really clinical, clinically practicing. And they were sharing with me that there's this digital agency consultancy firm for healthcare that basically does digital marketing for like clinics and even for pharmaceutical or medical device companies. And they know of someone who is inside actually, a pharmacist, a one year out junior. So I thought that was really quite interesting. It's a very good amalgamation between like using my healthcare knowledge and also learning something new, venturing into the digital realm, which is definitely up and coming. So yeah, I took a leap of faith and I went on LinkedIn, I searched this company up and I found that they had a job opening. So yeah, I applied for it. I would, I would say it was scary at first to venture into a whole new world again in the digital realm. But I guess thankfully, um, the first episode trained me well. <laughs> so um, yeah, so um, with the fear, I still like went in and I guess it turned out well. I was able to cope with the steep learning curve and even until now, I'm still learning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cry baby. <laughs> but I'm okay, I'm okay. I guess the first really big difficulty that I experienced was, I thought like I surf um, social media very, very often. I mean, I do posts, so it shouldn't be that difficult. But when I entered this role, I felt like, oh my goodness, there's so much that I don't know. Posting on social media is really just a very small part of this whole digital marketing realm. It's really more about the back-end algorithm, the matrix, how does all these um, posts get attention and get eyeballs. And yeah, I felt like that was a whole new world to me that I have to really um, understand and learn. Thankfully, I think the thing that was that is common is that um, both roles require my use of my pharmaceutical knowledge. Knowing about disease states, um, how the treatment is supposed to be done. I think as a pharmacist, I definitely need to know. But here as an account manager, to be able to better understand my um, clients, for example, the doctors or the pharmaceutical companies, the drugs that they are trying to sell. Being a pharmacist definitely helps me with it in terms of the medical knowledge. Social media is constantly changing and being in this role, it means that I will never be able to be at a very comfortable position. So some people may think that, oh, you know, I'm working and then maybe five to ten years later when I'm perhaps in a management role, I'll be very comfortable, I will know what's going on and I can like just breeze through every day. But I feel like in this role, it's not the case. Even, I, I believe even after ten years, even twenty years, it will, it, I will still be learning and I will never feel comfortable and at ease. So. Yeah, that's something that caught me aback. Yeah. Um, if I could go back in time, 
I would still do it again. <laughs> because I really enjoy the thought of waking up every morning, feeling like, okay, I really have a whole new different like things to do, a list of things to do. Um, and it's not mundane. It's very exciting and engaging every day. I get to learn a range of um, drugs, a range of um, specialty areas, because I work with different, many, many different clients. Uh, not just one. Uh, and I work with a very close-knitted team. Uh, so I get to learn a lot of new things like designing, video editing, and I feel like this kind of knowledge, you won't get it anywhere else. 